Today I am making Dalgona coffee, which is all the rage. Let's FaceTime all my friends today, why not? Am I in the vlog? You're in the vlog. I'm actually on reserve today. Hey, all you cool cat and kittens, it's Carol Baskin over at Big <laughs> Cat Animal Rescue. <laughs> Alright, so I'm getting the croissant started. You guys, it's Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme, baby. So hopefully they don't call me in on reserve so that way I can finish working on my croissants. They called me this morning. I have definitely never seen the airport this empty before. Even all the stores are closed, all the restaurants are closed. Nothing, nothing, nothing is open. Usually this whole area right here is full of people. And here too, there'll be like a traffic jam down this hallway. And look at all the canceled flights. It's crazy. And we're here, we're in the hotel. So I'm actually in Fort Worth. Probably about a 30 minute drive from Dallas, from the Dallas airport. It's kind of like a ghost town down there. There's like nobody out there. It's so wild. So we're in downtown Fort Worth. This is a very freaky time, you guys. Something to be grateful for that I have a microwave here in the room. That's exciting. And a fridge. So I'm gonna be here for the next 24 hours. Just gonna chill out, order some food. Ooh. And I can log on to Netflix on here and YouTube and watch all the videos and everything that I wanna watch. I have the TV all to myself. Silver lining, right? Everything in the hotel is closed. The restaurant is closed. The gym is closed. There's usually free breakfast here, but that is closed as well. I'm gonna have to order in somehow. So much craziness going on, guys. Other than that, my day was super easy. Dead ahead of here, I got to sit as a passenger. I had the whole road to myself. There was only like 40 passengers on that plane. Tomorrow I work the one flight back home, and then my April schedule begins. April, I will no longer be on reserve, which is a good thing, thank goodness, because I do not like reserve. Then again, who does like reserve? I am now going to take a little nap because I didn't sleep well last night. I knew that I was the first person to be called on reserve, so I could not sleep. So when you're on call in the middle of the night, it's always so nerve-wracking because you don't know if they're gonna call you so yeah it's nerve-wracking and you don't really get good sleep so I'm definitely gonna say nap all right guys update on my day I haven't done a thing I've actually just been relaxing I booked an italki lesson which I was telling you guys about italki on my last vlog italki is basically where you learn a language with a tutor or a teacher uh, through the website this video is not sponsored by the way I'm just letting you guys know what I've been using to try to improve my Italian so I just booked an italki lesson tomorrow with my favorite Italian youtuber who actually teaches an italki as well so I've been watching her YouTube videos to like try and improve my Italian and I booked the lesson with her tomorrow so I'm excited I hope she approves the request because she's like a big youtuber in Italy I think she has almost like 300,000 subscribers so that'll be really cool if she actually approves my lesson request I know it's kind of nerdy of me but I'm like super excited about that also I'm watching a vlog and I just ordered some food on Uber Eats so I'm waiting for that to get here but all in all it's been a pretty relaxing day food is here all right guys so I just ordered fat check have you guys ever had fat check apparently i think it's like a chain here in texas i ordered some some wings some barbecue wings and then i also ordered a boiga and some fries since there's like really nothing that we can do here um in texas besides eat that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna eat and i'm gonna watch a vlog oh I'm actually watching this video where she's about to get tested for COVID-19. Well, have you guys seen how they test for that? How they stick the swab in the nose? That looks terrifying. I, I can't even imagine that swab going in my nose. Ugh. She's got it in her hand right there. That swab is gonna go in her nose. Wait, what's he doing? Wait, you can do it yourself? I didn't know you could do it yourself. I thought you had to have like a doctor to do it. Oh wait, maybe that is the doctor. All right guys, I'm gonna eat now. The next day. Good morning guys. I'm watching Good Morning America. Welcome to another day here in the ghost town that is Fort Worth, Texas. Literally ain't no one out there, y'all. 
a yes, I said y'all. I just finished editing a video. 10 a.m. now, I've been up since like seven. The last vlog that you guys have watched is what I just finished editing. I'm a slightly disappointed because my Italian teacher, YouTuber, who I was supposed to have a lesson with today, she did not accept my request, which is totally understandable, I understand. Um, she actually sent me a message saying that she's a lot of students right now, she's very um, busy, her schedule's pretty full, but she sent me a message and her and I chatted back and forth. She wanted to kind of like get an understanding of what my uh, level in Italian was, so her and I chatted back and forth in Italian, actually. And she said she's gonna let me know one of these days as soon as she gets an opening available so her and I can do a live video chat lesson. But now it is time to order some food because I'm hungry. I think Uber Eats is doing free delivery, so Uber Eats it is. There's so many choices. I don't know what to get. Ooh, Starbucks, McDonald's, IHOP, Jack in the Box. Maybe I'll get Jack in the Box. I know, I'm being so unhealthy. 20 minutes later. I got Jack in the Box and I got Diet Dr. Pepper, which I love Diet Dr. Pepper. Like I said, I got my lunch or breakfast. I don't know what time it is. Almost 11 o'clock. But it's like noon, my time on the East Coast. So it's lunchtime. Also, I was thinking if you guys want to try italki, if you guys are trying to learn a new language, I'm going to put my referral code down below. And then once you guys purchase some credits on italki, you guys will get $10 and then I'll get $10. So we can help each other out. So if you guys are interested in italki and learning a new language, um, I'll leave my referral code down below. I'm getting ready for work now. As you can see, um, I don't know if I told you guys, but you probably already know this for those of you who didn't know we we no longer are doing a beverage or a meal service on the airplane on flights under 2200 miles which is the majority of our flights we do beverage upon request if someone would like a beverage they have to come to the galley or they can bring their call light and we'll bring them a drink we no longer go out with the cart all this just to practice social distancing today I'll be the lead flight attendant on the 777, uh, business class does not get a meal either. So it's gonna be a long flight of us doing nothing. All right guys, this is gonna be my airplane for the day, the 777. That was probably the easiest flight we've ever done. Yeah. Right? Bye, is they flying with you? Beware. You must be six feet away. The handles, definitely. The wheels, and that. <laughs> Should I spray my whole body? Uh -huh. I'm home. Welcome home. Are you kidding me? This is what I come home to? Official juror summons? This is my first one ever. Really? Yeah. That's not so bad. It's the last thing that I want to be doing. I hope this is like 10 months from now or like a year from now. <laughs> All right, so I'm home now. My flight was like super easy. I didn't do like a freaking thing. I gave like two drinks because we don't do service. Two people asked for something and then- They have masks and gloves on? Yeah. I felt like I was not working, but working. It was weird. The next day. And good morning. We are back to some croissant making today. I got my computer set up in my little scale and then my tape measure because I'm going to need this for some reason. Now it's going to be time for the butter. I'm going to need 138 grams of the butter. I'm going to cut it up into little pieces. First thing I'm going to do is wash my hands, obviously. That looks good. Now I'm gonna pop this back into the fridge for about 20 minutes and then we'll start rolling out the dough. It is now time to do the hard part. And to be honest, I'm scared, y'all. What should be scared about? I'm scared. It's a pretty complex process, as you can see. Um, but I have my guide here, which is the video that I'm using. I'll link it down below if you guys wanna try to do this. This is basically one of the YouTubers that I've been watching who cooks and bakes and stuff like that. So he's gonna help me, he's gonna be my moral support. Yeah, I'm like I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Put a little bit of this here. 
Oh wait, you forgot to clean it. I cleaned it already. Kidding. Just kidding, people. So, so he says to roll it out a little. Uh huh. So roll out each corner, right, like this. Uh huh. It's kind of like breaking. Probably normal. It's probably been it's been in the fridge for like two days. It's like cracking. Let's flip it over. All right. So the dough is kind of like cracking, but um. Here, I'll start again. Deep dough out of the fridge. Now this part is very important, so take caution when doing it. It's just super soft though. Well, probably because mine has been in the fridge for so long. So he didn't he didn't do it as much as you did, by the way. I know, but. Okay. So this is the, the butter block that I made earlier. I'm getting scared. Don't be scared. Alright, so go like this. Uh -huh. It's like cracking on me. Let's bring it in. Don't worry. You're gonna have to like do it all back out again. Oh my god. Maybe, Maybe your butter is too big. Alright, we're having some issues already, as you guys can see. Le bourrage, le bourrage. So, alright, so like this, like this, and then, and then like that. That looks really ugly. The opposite of the edges of the dough. Okay, that's kind of square. Pinch and close the edges shut and just let it sit for a minute or two. You want to make sure that the butter isn't completely rock hard when you roll it, otherwise, it'll just kind of break up a little bit. Then let's flip it over. All right, this will probably be my last time doing this because this part's stressing me out. <laughs> All right, so that's done. Oh, I see butter right there. This is what we got so far. Um, this is enough. I hope this is, you know, after all this work that I'm putting into it, I'd be so disappointed if they come out bad. All right, it's going in the fridge. And we are back. All right, he's making some coffee right now. I got the next part set up here on my computer. All right, so let's dust the surface once again. All right, this is the end of part two, and now we're gonna put it back into the fridge. So up to 12 hours or one hour is what it says right now. I think you should just do one hour. Yeah. And we're back for our final uh, roll, shall we say. Some more flour on the thing, on the thing, on the surface. Okay, so this looks really ugly. <laughs> Look at that. Can you guys see how ugly that looks? You live and you learn. So I had to put the dough back in the fridge because the dough was resisting me. So I had to let the, I had to let the dough rest. Rest. Yes, I have Nutella in my hand. Now I'm sad. So I'm gonna eat some Nutella. Hey, you can't be sad. I mean, you're giving it a try. I'm sad because so much work. The problem was that I got called into work. So the dough was sitting there for two days in the fridge. So we'll see what happens. All right, let's see how this turns out. All right, I have rolled it out as best as I can. This part's gonna be the tricky part. So far, so good. I mean, they're kind of uneven, but hey, you know what? At this point, I've already accepted that they're not gonna be perfect. <laughs> And this is as good as it's gonna get. They're not terrible, but they're not gonna be perfect. And it's fine, you know what? The first time I can't expect them to be perfect, right? Now, these have to proof in the oven. Basically, I think they're gonna rise a little bit longer still. So I wanna proof them. Um, I gotta put them like in a, like in an oven type of environment and just leave them in there for like two hours. 
I know, two more hours. And the worst part about it is, guys, I have to work tonight. I have to fly. So I hope I get these done in time, which I think I will. Two hours later. The time has come. Let's look at these babies. Whoa. They have definitely doubled in size. All right, so these are obviously are not cooked yet. They were just proofing. Proofing means they're gonna double in size. Now I can finally set the oven to 400 degrees. We'll do one more coating of egg wash. 15 to 20 minutes. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. You guys ready for this? Yeah. Ta-da! Ooh, do you hear that fizzle, sizzle? Frizzle. Mm, looks really good. I too. And it smells really good. Now, I'm not sure if all that butter is supposed to have come out the way that it did. But hey. Fresh made croissants. Now we gotta let them cool and then we can eat them. They look really good. You want a hot one? Well, yeah, but not, not that hot. Look at this one. This was the tiny one that I had. Oh, it's so cute. It smells like a French bakery in here. Alright, so should we uh, try out those... Um, Croissants? Yummy croissants? Yes. All right. My mom already got one. My mom already got one. Mmm. Oh yeah, look at all the layers. Flaky. Yeah, look at all that flaky layerness. You're making some coffee? I'm just warming it up. Coffee and croissants at 6 p.m.? Yep, I'm having it. <laughs> all right, we got some croissants. We're gonna try them hot because they're probably better when they're hot, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go eat it over here. It's the moment of truth. Look how pretty that is. All right, I'm gonna try this because my mouth is watering so much. Oh, wow. Come oh, on, right, buddy. It's really buttery. Really buttery? Mm-hmm. Got that, use that good European butter in that baby. Mm-hmm. Show me all those flakes. Look at that. Those oh, layers. Yeah, that. Just coming apart, look at that. You know, for your first time, you did a really good job. I guess it's not as bad as I was expecting it. All right, so. Mm. It definitely tastes like a croissant, like really good. Croissant. Imagine if I would have done it the right way, they'd probably be even better. You guys see? Wow, that looks really pretty. Mm-hmm. Not so bad if I do say so myself. Someone's really enjoying their croissant. So I was being a little too hard on myself before. And I was getting really cranky because I thought that they weren't gonna come out good, but they actually came out good. Very, very tasty. If you guys wanna try this recipe, make sure that you are using a very good quality butter, such as uh, Flugra which is a European butter. So I'll put the link down below to the YouTuber who I followed his recipe. Next time I make these, I know I said I wasn't gonna make them, but I think, I think I'll give it another shot for sure. I just get like really like stressed out when something is not coming out the way it should. That's gonna be it for this vlog. This is a long vlog. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like longer vlogs, shorter vlogs. I have to go to work in about an hour and a half. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps. Subscribe down below. If you guys think that I should have like a segment on my channel of like trying different things, baking slash cooking. If you guys like that type of thing, let me know down below. Anything else you wanna say? He's so happy. Again, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye, Gio.